Hi guys, it's Vanessa. I'm here today with a haul. Yay! I love hauls and this is a good one. Sorry my voice is a little funny, but I went out for part one of my birthday yesterday, so lots of fun. Thank you everyone who came. All right, so let's get to this because this is fabulous stuff that makes me so happy. Okay, first I went to Ulta and at Ulta I only picked up two things and they are both from the Mario Badescu skincare line and I've been wanting to try this stuff out so I'm really excited um, the first thing I picked up is the eye makeup remover gel non oily um, and this stuff um, it says that I'll just read it our non oily eye makeup remover gel leaves no residue making ideal for oily skin or sensitive eyes it thoroughly removes all traces of eye makeup including waterproof mascara so you just kind of squirt it out it has like a little squirt this is the consistency of it. It kind of looks like hand soap. Sorry, this camera's kind of crappy. But it looks like hand soap. You just like rub it in, rub it off, and then um, whatever, wash. I think you have to wash this off. Wipe away with the damp cotton pad. So there you go. Um, I use like face wipes, but sometimes at night, like you still wake up with raccoon eyes, and sometimes the face wipes irritate my eyes. So I wanted to try something else, and Mario Badescu gets great reviews. So I got that. And this is kind of like has a cult following and I've been wanting this forever and if you can see it. It's the Mario Badescu drying lotion. Now I was really confused because normally when you see this, if I get up close maybe you'll see how it's separated. So the top is like liquid, like clear, cloudy liquid and the bottom is pink like, um, like stuff you put on your mosquito bites. And every time I see this in pictures it's like a whole pink like Pepto-Bismol beautiful bottle. But I saw these and I started like shaking them up and then I started reading it and they say not to shake it up. So this is for like spot treatments on zits and stuff. Um, I want I normally just use um, salicylic acid so I wanted to try something new and I hear this stuff works miracles. It says for immediate relief from unsightly whiteheads and pimples, dab one drop of the solution on each erupted area overnight. Do not shake solution in bold and caps. Um, to use, dip a cotton swab into pink sediment down here um, and dab on the pimple and let it dry. Wash off solution in the morning. So I have a couple gross spots that we could uh, test this out on. So I'll let you guys know about that. So that's all I got at Ulta. Then I went to Mac, my favorite place on earth, but I'm going to leave that for last because I like doing that. Then I went to Lush and at Lush I picked up... Um, their new sugar scrub and I picked up two of them and I forgot their names and they're not on here um, I'll try to look them up and annotate them but this one I believe was like mimosa flavored so it's more like fruity and sweet and it's basically like a big thick sugar brick and I don't know what else is in it but it's an exfoliator and it's just it's almost like if you took like um, exfoliating salt and then just kind of bound it so the girl told me what she does is that she breaks it up into three pieces and then she just takes that piece, rubs it up, and then uses it. You use it in the shower. But she told me if you get them, you don't want to like fully immerse them in water because they just kind of turn into mush. And this is the other one, the green one. And this one is a little um, like more of a woodsy, earthy scent. It kind of smells like, um, not herbalism, but... Um, other face stuff I used to use of theirs. Angels on bare skin. This smells like angels on bare skin. So I'm excited to try them. They're like four bucks each so that was not bad. And then I got like the super smallest four dollar piece of porridge soap because I hear a lot of hype about it and honestly it doesn't really call to me too much when I'm in the store but it's exfoliating oatmeal and orange juice soap. And I like orange juice. The oatmeal part I don't think this smells as delicious as people say but maybe in the shower it'll smell better. We'll see. So that's all I got at Lush. Then I went to Sephora. I love Sephora. At Sephora, I picked up Makeup Forever Flash Color. Um, and I don't know what number this one is. Maybe three? I can't really tell. Hold on. I think it's the number three, though. It's like a little tricky. Um, it could be five or it could be three. I don't know, but it's the orange one. Um, I just have like a few orange-based eyeshadows, coral-based colors that I think this would look really pretty under. And these are um, grease paint. There it is right there. 
Um, they're grease paint, so they're pretty like oily and emollients. And when you use these, um, so awesome though. They give like great, great color. You can use them on your lips for editorial things. Um, you could use them on the face. Like you, they have tons of uses. Um, I use them like a, I would a paint pot, except a little bit different. Actually, more like a cream color base is what I use them, because I don't grab a bunch and put it on my eye, or your eyeshadows will crease. This happened to me with the other one that I own, and it was really bad. All you're gonna do is like take your finger and literally like that dab, and that will do like both eyes. It's just like the tiniest, tiniest amount is all you need, and really helps your eyeshadows pop, and they come in really fun colors, and they even have like a kit for like $100 that has all the colors, but check them out. Loves. So I got that, and then I got some NARS. I got um, this NARS eyeshadow in Indian Summer, and I don't, I think it's part of their new um, autumnal line. And it's just really pretty. Um, I know it looks kind of boring, but it's really pretty colors. It's like the matte side of it is like this taupey gray brown color. Great for the crease. Um, it's really pretty, and it kind of has like a mustard tone to it. Like when you swatch it, you can't see. I'll try to do swatches on my blog. I probably won't have time today though, because I'm already running late. But um, yeah, it's just a really pretty color. And then on the other side is like a silvery taupe color that's gorgeous too. I really, really like this. Um, and the colors are, they don't seem unique, but they are to me. Like I know on here they just kind of look like another taupe, another this. But they're really pretty. I love this so much. And then I wanted to get the Fast Ride lip lipstick because um, the promo picture um, that I used in my blog of that I love that girl's lipstick it's like beautiful amazing purpley kind of I just love it and um, I went and I saw fast ride and fast ride to me looks like um, Clinique's um, black honey which I love but I have like two tubes of that so I didn't want to get that and this kind of looks like a tube but this was more purple um, than the one it looked more like the promo picture than the one that they were promoting and this one is I think from the permanent line and it's Srinagar Srinagar if I'm saying that wrong sorry I'm not worldly but it's that color and it's not this purple I'm wearing it now I'll have some more on it's a really pretty color and it's very sheer so it's a buildable color I like it <laughs> my glasses glare is insane I know so I got that really excited then you know Beauty Insider, I got the three things for your birthday. And I'm excited because that darkest one looks like it would be really pretty um, over the lipstick. So it comes with like a berryish kind of sparkly one, another sparkly like pink one, and then like a nude, probably clear one. So that was fun. And I got a little sample of DDF Protect Eye Cream. And I don't think I had points in my beauty bank, so I didn't get a Beauty Insider sample. But I am now a VIB, so holla at your girl. Um, and if you don't know what VIB is, it's basically this new um, thing that Sephora is doing. And I'm going to just say the amount, even though it is really embarrassing to say this, but I'll let you know just in case um, you want to be one. Ugh, it hurts to even say it, but VB, VIBs are like this new program in the Beauty Insider, and it's for people who have spent... A minimum of 350 at Sephora or Sephora.com in one calendar year. No comments. I'm not going to say anything about that. That's tragic. And when you become one, you get 10% um, off your next your next uh, purchase. So I'm excited about that. It's just yeah. <laughs> it just hurts when you when you hear that amount. But anyways, moving it along. And then I went to Sally Beauty Supply. Nothing major there. I picked up Rice Papers Palladio because I love and need them. As you could probably tell by my shiny face. I picked up Warm Beige. I normally just get Translucent. So I picked up Warm Beige today, which is a darker one, and Translucent. I'll see if it's any different. Normally these um, barely even have any color in them. So I also picked up an Olive Hot Oil Treatment. Who knows when I'll do it, but it's good to do. Oh, I got my hair done. Duh. I'm sure you guys are like, please do your hair like this all the time. I won't. I'm too lazy to do my hair like this all the time, but whatever. And then when I was there, I saw this and I bought it. Um, and it's funny because it looks kind of exactly like 
this that I bought and this was a dollar but as soon as I took it out um let's see if I can do it now this whole thing came up so there's your dollars worth but it's in first crush is the name and that's really why I bought it because I love a crush and I'll swatch it it's pretty similar to what I have on my lips and let me swatch the other one next to it So you can see this um, this one is the the bottom one is the NARS one and the top one is from Sally so yeah I guess I'm really into that right now so don't worry about it <laughs> and then yay Mac my favorite so I got a few things from the new collection um, some from love that look and one thing which I will start with from um, color craft that I was all depressed that I couldn't get in time and I got it today and I'm so excited. This is the 131 Duo Fiber. It's like all the other skunk brushes. Well, here, I'll do it against my hair. Yeah. All the other skunk brushes you've seen, except this one's like flatter, rounded at the top. Um, it looks more like a foundation brush. It's not round like the other ones. And as always, softest, softest brush ever. I love it. So I'm excited to use this um, probably for like cream products. Um, now that the weather is cooling down, like today I wore a hoodie. I was so excited. I love hoodie weather. But um, now that the weather is cooling down, I'll, I'll probably try it with my tinted moisturizer um, since my skin won't be as shiny as it is now um, in the fall and winter. And with cream blushes, I'm sure this would be divine. And I just can't wait with MSFs and, you know, everything else dual fiber brushes are good for. And I'm so happy it's in my life. And I love it. Oh, and I, and I got the last one, so I was like, wow, so excited. Then I picked up some uh, shadows from Love That Look and the new collection. From the new collection, which I think this is part of the makeup art collection, like modern something about art. I don't know, whatever. I picked up Off the Page, which is like this really hot um, orange color. And it's like kind of reminds me of Juiced, but my memory could be wrong because I think Juiced is a little more melony. And this is more like orange. And I think they're satins. Oh, it's a frost. But it's not like over the top frosty. And this is the swatch, which you probably can't see, but there it is. And then here, I'll layer it on top of that makeup primer that I just bought. So it kind of looks exactly like it, but with frost. It's really, really pretty. So excited to have it in my collection. And then I got this for my sister. She doesn't know. And I can touch it because it's for her. I got the Crest the Wave eyeshadow in Frost because she's been dying for a pale yellow. And she got um, Assemblage because of that beige color or that beige gold. Gold color kind of reads as yellow. But this is, I think, more what she was looking for. So she'll be happy to get this. I th this is like lighter than Bright Future. So if you just got Bright Future and you're like, I don't really need this. This is lighter than Bright Future. Um, it's not as like in your face yellow so if bright future was too much for you but you like the idea of a frosted yellow you should definitely check this out and these are really pretty the whole collection was really pretty colors and then from love that look i picked up the infamous smoke and diamonds and it's in the delicious star flash um formulation that everyone loves and that's the color it's really pretty it's like a very unique color um and it seems it's like in the same family as the frosty color in here but much darker and it's like a purpley gray taupe um but more on like a gray purple it's just a gorgeous color um i'm sure you've heard so much about it because this was when um star flash first came out people were raving about this color now that it's back out people are raving about this color and i do love it and another one i was hearing a lot about that i did also fall in love with was style snob and this one is like a mauvey taupe color I know I keep saying taupe, sorry. <laughs> and that one is really, really beautiful. And I don't think I have an eyeshadow like it. I know you can't see anything. I will put swatches up this week on my blog. Um, but yeah, I really like this color a lot. And I think these would actually be really pretty together. So I'm excited for that. Then I also, oh, I wanted to pick up the Rated R just because I love the name because I'm a dirty bird like that. <laughs> but um, it looks exactly to me like um, the green in, temp in the Tempting Quad. Is it Tempting? Yeah. The green in the Tempting Quad. So I was like, not sad. And then 
I almost got it, and then they were sold out, so that was a sign from Jesus saying, you don't need that child, and I don't. Next, I picked up the new Technicolor, Technicol liners, and I kind of don't like these. Like, in the waterline, they don't really show up that much, but um, these are just such cool colors that I had to get it, and it'll look good on the upper lash line or as bases. So I got this super fabulous green one called Color Matters, and I'll just do a swatch right here, and hopefully you'll be able to see it. Okay, and of course you can't. Ugh, garbage. It is like a neon green. Oh, there you go. Awesome, awesome neon green color. It's the most beautiful liner on earth. I love it. And then I picked up, obviously, orange. Guess what color that one is? Super pretty. I wanted to get more Pearl Glide liners, but I have um, two that I, the colored ones, I already bought those. This is the orange one. There are all the other ones, <laughs> swatches I've been doing. But um, I have the Flyby Blue and Rave already. And then I already have a brown kind of sparkly one and then a black sparkly one from another company. So I didn't mind, but I do love Pearl Glide Liner. So if you can still get those, get them because they are awesome. And I know um, a few of the last trips I went to the CCO, they had some. So if you um, have access to a CCO, check there first because they might still have them. And that, my lovely ladies, is all that I bought. See, so it wasn't too much, but it was, like, all great. Um, for my birthday, people never get me makeup. It just seems like such an obvious choice. Like, if you want to get me a gift, get me makeup. But people hate getting me makeup for my birthday. I don't know why. Every year, I get my hopes up. Every year, I'm like, this is the year someone's going to get me makeup. They never do. My sister gave me a $60 gift card to use at the Macy's at MAC. And a couple people gave me some cash. So I'm not complaining at all because at least that went towards this. But I'm just saying, don't be afraid. Just buy me makeup. I love it all. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I will talk to you later. And I want to say, again, thank you for everyone who came to my birthday yesterday. And I can't wait to hang out with everyone who's coming to mine today. And thank you for everyone on YouTube and on Twitter who wished me um, a happy birthday. It definitely has been so far. So thank you guys so much. And have a good one. Bye.